Tesla's highly anticipated version 9 software is coming to everybody, well, who owns a Tesla, really, in a few days per Elon Musk. I'm going to tell you about some of the exciting features that are being rolled out. Some are really, really cool, and some are a little disappointing, if you ask me. I'll definitely share those with you, so we'll kind of do a full review of what's coming. Uh, also, there's some news about uh, Leaf's uh, battery upgrade for the first generation. Uh, I'll tell you about my day at the racetrack here in Sacramento, watching some of the Tesla's race uh, uh, some gas cars that was really exciting uh, and Ford actually out of all companies came out with a pretty exciting and, and decent concept uh, a semi truck uh, I'll show you the video of that uh, and of course a comment of the day all of this is coming up next Thank you to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon. Thank you for supporting the show. Patreon.com slash e electric if you want to support me and you want to watch these videos live, plus the extra mile segment that I do for everybody who supports the show. Uh, some sort of a more of a um, after party type of a thing where I share some personal information, some uh, behind the scenes stuff. So uh, please go ahead and check it out. And of course, if this is your first time here and you're interested in staying up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. It's free. Just, just, just go ahead and click so you don't miss anything. Moving forward, or light, or let's let's talk about this. Now Elon Musk tweeted, um, I believe, yesterday, saying that they are finishing up the very highly anticipated version nine software upgrade for Teslas, and they're hoping to release it at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the week. Now there are some people who are already sharing some of the screenshots that they see in beta. I have to say it's not much to look at in terms of there's the interface is not that different, at least from what I'm seeing. But it's the features that they are uh, rolling out that are exciting. So let me go over them. Um, and I'll tell you what the main ones are. Well, first of all, a lot of people are excited about Atari games that you can play, and I think that's a great idea, especially for the generation that can't afford these cars. Uh, definitely going to have a great time with that. Then sev secondly is a, a navigate on autopilot. It's a feature where basically Tesla will, if you put the destination and, and you're using the navigation system, it will suggest or even perform the lane changes and trying to get you off of the freeway or whatever to where you're supposed to go. Uh, now, the interesting thing is you can adjust how aggressively the Tesla is going to actually perform those lane changes. And there's even a setting called Mad Max uh, that it looks like they're going to be rolling out. And at first I thought, well, that was, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of dangerous. But then actually there is there is some uh, something to it because let's say in the light traffic or any type of traffic where, you know, if you turn your blinker on and then slowly try to, you you know, go into another lane, that spot's going to be taken, right? So you have to be relatively aggressive, and this is a setting that will allow uh, you to do that. So I think it's a great idea. So it's still going to be considered level two autonomous driving, guys. This is still not going to be level three. You know, I know there were a lot of promises that, you know, it's going to be kind of a next step for autonomous driving features. Uh, so unfortunately, that's not going to happen. But this is a feature a lot of people are talking about and liking it. Now, the number three, the one, and this is the one that I like the most. You know how you can never sort of, you know, somebody sends you the address and the email or whatever, and then you have to look at your phone and enter it, you know, once you get into the car wall. Uh, and I have a hack for that all this time uh, uh, on my channel. I have a video for that, but no more. You can actually, with this update, um, when your up, uh, app updates on your phone, you can actually, somebody will send you the text message or somehow you'll see an address, you'll be able to share it straight to your car. So once you get to your car, your de destination address is already going to be entered. So I think that will, I think all of us who have ever had to do this, whether, whether you have Tesla or not, um, sitting there with a the phone and typing it in, that will save us so much trouble. This is my most favorite feature in this update, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Now, the next two features are the ones that I've been missing dearly from my Tesla, and I've been kind of really, really, really uh, uh, liking them with other cars that do offer them, and I was looking forward to it, but I do have to say they're not exactly what I would have loved them to be. Let me know if you think that you're satisfied with them, but here are the two, ones, uh, two, two, two uh, features that I'm talking about. One is one is a blind spot assist, and you know this is on like for example on my Volt, I, I simply see the little light light up, uh, either it's a, a, a yellow or, or red when someone's in my blind spot. So I don't even have to look there; I can just see it with the corner of my eyes and know whether or not I need to change lanes or could change lanes. Now Tesla is now going to implement similar feature, but the way they're doing it is kind of disappointing because essentially they're going to say that the you have to put your blinker on in order for that feature to be activated. And I already don't like that because sometimes I want to know before I even put my blinker on 
to know sh if I should put my blinker on in the first place. So anyway, so you have to put your blinker on and then in your display up front, the uh, the lane, um, the, the, the line that separates your lane from the other ones will light up in red if uh, that blind spot is already taken by another car. And you know, this is something that's kind of hard to see uh, because you have to look in there and look for the line rather than just boom a light lights up on the mirror So um, it's good that they're doing something about it, but I think there could be a better visual representation uh, uh, Maybe just a bigger light on of your on your uh, display in front of you behind your wheel um, That will maybe not even have uh, you take your eyes off the road. So that's that's a little disappointing uh, But uh, the one that I've been looking forward to was the dash cam implementation, right? Because you know Tesla's have all these cameras you know, all we really want them is to kind of have them record. I myself, both my cameras, uh, both my cameras, both my cars have uh, dash cams just in case if something happens. And um, and you know, here's by the way one of the screenshots that they are um, that that somebody was able to capture from their beta version uh, and or maybe alpha version actually. Uh, and uh, now they're releasing the notes and what unfortunately is going to happen is you will all first of all it's only going to be available on the second generation of uh, the hardware which means people like me with the first generation will not even get it which is kind of disappointing because look I have a camera and I have the software why can not I be one of the people enjoying this feature so that's disappointing and even if you do have the second version of the hardware um, you only will be able to record from the front facing camera, nothing from the rest of the cameras or backup camera, which is again, like in, in my case, I prefer dual front and back cameras. So, it, and, and, and in case of Tesla, you can actually cover 360, but another, but you still kind of have to hack it. They will make you put a, get your own USB drive, plug it in, the, oh, I'm sorry, get your own USB drive, format it uh, in a certain format on your computer, then create a folder with a specific name, then take it to your car, plug it into USB drive, and then when you want to actually see the footage, you'll have to take that USB drive, go back to your computer, you know, plug it in and go through all the files that were recorded. Um, and that I gotta tell you, if you even get a $50 camera from Amazon or eBay, it will have all of those features with a better interface and other features. So that I have to say is a bit disappointing. Um, now I require a couple of things from my dash cam. One, it needs to have two cameras front and back. Um, two, it uh, needs to show me the footage that I see right there. I don't want to be using my phone or bring it uh, back to my computer and so forth. And the only one that's on the market right now that I know of and I just installed in my uh, um, car is this one, which is a Street Guardian. Before that, and this is what's in my Tesla, I had this Thinkware. Uh, a dash cam, this is an X550, but they discontinued it. If they would have continued making them, I would have gotten this one. But I like my street, um, uh, uh, street guarding and, and I've been pretty satisfied with them. Both of them have screens so you can see. Tesla has a humongous screen, but you won't be able to see that footage. So that kind of sucks. I'm a little disappointed, but nevertheless, these are the features that are going to be uh, rolling out in the next couple of weeks, I'm assuming. The interface will change. Uh, it will definitely be a little bit more slick, but last time when they did it, I thought there's some things that were kind of rolled back, so I didn't really necessarily like it. But nevertheless, and speaking of uh, uh, things caught on uh, dash cameras, check out this guy running in his garbage can, and this was, re oh, 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 that, yeah, no, that was me. That was me, I'll admit it. I, I put that garbage can in there, and I ran into it with my car yesterday's morning, so. Luckily, I have a dash cam on my house. <laughs> so you can enjoy this video of me being an old man. Uh, luckily, my car didn't get scratched or anything like that. Luckily, there was no garbage in there. It was already cleaned up. So, but yeah, that happened. All right, let's talk about my day at the raceway. Before that, of course, I want to remind you guys that this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. There's a description of this video that has the link to their discount code. So use it to save yourself some money. All right, yesterday was a pretty cool day. This is Ryan McCaffrey, who is the uh, pretty famous, I would assume, uh, I think, podcaster. He has the Ride the Lightning podcast there. Uh, he was at the racetrack with, uh, with us. That's his Model 3 right there racing uh, with a pretty good time. Sorry, that just taped it with my phone, so not the best quality. Uh, he got 11.8, I think, quarter mile in his Model 3 uh, performance. This is a selfie of us uh, with his beautiful uh, uh, red performance. Um, that was my idea to 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 
to do this very awkward selfie, but whatever. Uh, so, and this event was organized by uh, Eli of uh, My Tesla Adventure. Both of those guys were guests on my show, so if you want to see my interviews with them, uh, they're there. And also, Eli got in the live stream that I did yesterday. Um, my yesterday's video, you can check it out. It's just streaming live from the event and some of the races there. It was really cool to see, really cool to see that people really still, and this is Sacramento, but still, people did not really know that Teslas are a thing and they are quiet and have no gas and they weren't modified. I think the best, um, I think uh, the best thing that I, uh, the question that I think somebody asked for, uh, uh, asked, uh, Eli was uh, having his uh, computer with him, the laptop next to his car and people asked him, hey, are you doing some modifications right now? And he's like, no, dude, I'm just on my computer. This car is already good to go. So that was pretty cool. All right, let's move on to another news because Nissan Leaf had did something not so good to their, um, first generation leaf and i'm not just talking about making it ugly and with a short range they just did it this week and this is what's actually reported and caught by uh, a friend of the show uh nikki from T transport evolved uh and uh, it looks like they've upped the price of the battery and a lot of these cars do need the, the battery to be exchanged uh, uh you know, right now it was fifty five hundred dollars for the battery they upped it to seven thousand same battery by the way it's not like it's a so so the outdated technologies that's only going down uh and should be going down in value they actually put an extra fifteen hundred dollars on that so these cars when they when they um when the batteries really turn to crap are now even more expensive to uh to upgrade back to what they were which is really what 90 miles anyway so yeah, this is, I think this is such a big disservice to, to the current uh, first generation uh, Nissan Leaf owners because they also devalued their cars overnight. So unfortunately that happened. Uh, let's move on to another actually exciting news because Ford, and this is Ford's Turkish subsidiary uh, uh, that's, work, uh, that's working on the uh, semi-truck. Well, they released uh, the footage of the semi-truck and it's actually pretty cool. Um, I have to say it's... Uh, uh, it's uh, let, let me actually bring up another picture of it. Uh, it I would say that in terms of looks, I would I I, I, lo I love it. I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. I absolutely love it. Uh, so here's some video of it. Uh, very slick. Now they're claiming the level four autonomy, but because it's a concept, anybody can claim anything they want. I want to Ford. You know, I want to see Ford create any type of the decent electric vehicle. So at this point, um, obviously I'm not really, uh, you know, sold on anything, but at the same time, hey, it's good that they're trying to compete and uh, we'll uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this will become a reality. And this is the picture of the truck again. I like it, very slick, very modern. Um, I actually like it a little bit better than uh, the actual semi truck from Tesla. Let me know what you think. But while you're typing your comments in, which is totally allowed, I'm gonna move on to the comment of the day. And this one has uh, something to do with uh, what, uh, what uh, I'm going to be releasing on Saturday, which is my interview with the head of communications of Ionity, the up and coming fast charging network, sort of an alternative to Tesla supercharger network in Europe. And I suggested to, to put the basket of uh, rotten eggs next to each stall, just in case of the ice car parks there. Uh, and you know, I, I thought that was a great idea. Well, uh, uh, this comment came in uh, today with another great idea. And Robert Smith said, specially trained pigeons, pigeons may work too. Love the idea, Robert. Maybe we can join together and form some sort of a uh, electric car stall protection agency and 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 use all these great ideas. If you have an idea, what you either have done yourself or would love to see it done to those uh, who have gas cars and park in the supercharger stalls or any kind of electric car charging stalls, let me know. Well, maybe we'll have a competition and 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 have some sort of a top five solutions for this. And maybe I'll go out and do it myself as long as it's legal and um, I don't get murdered for it. I will do it on camera and uh, maybe we'll have some fun for it. So uh, there you go. Of course, on Saturday, don't forget to watch my interview uh, uh, with uh, Paul, uh, uh, the head of communications. It was a pretty interesting conversation. So that's that. All right. That's pretty much it for me, guys. I will see you tomorrow. And remember to stay charged.